folks, I want to give you a quick demo on how to get audio data into your patch using the Easy ADC in Max. Last time we looked at the Easy DAC, the digital audio analog converter. This time it's a ADC, an analog digital converter. So there, our speaker had two um, output channels, right, for our stereo audio. The microphone has two input channels for uh, our microphone. Although depending on what microphones we have connected to our system, we might only get the left channel. Mo most microphones are mono. Uh, so to, if we want to make that object, we can grab it from uh, the top bar up there, or we can go in and make a new easy ADC. There we go. Uh, with the tilde, that's how we make that object. To it, these are connected. If I turn this one off, the mic will go off. If I turn the Easy ADC on, the Easy DAC will come on. They're both connected to our main audio over here because it's the audio system for the computer. So keep that in mind. Uh, and if we want to quickly see a visualization of what the, the mic is hearing, we can use a meter with a tilde because it's an MSP object. And that will give us an audio meter. And we're going to connect that up and we'll see these little green LEDs uh, coming across. I can change the size of this. If I make it tall, it'll become a vertical meter. If I make it horizontal, it'll be a horizontal meter. Uh, so I can get a better sense of what's happening there. Uh, and then, then the other cool thing about the meter is that it will also give me the peak over its sample size if I um, hit F for a flow num and attach that to the bottom of the meter, we'll see this numeric floating point value for our audio volume. So this is a numeric representation of the peak volume over the sample rate of the meter. Now, if you connect up these things and nothing happens, right? You've got this on, nothing happens. You might have to check which microphone Max is using, right? So Max has pretty deep integration with the system hardware. Um, so if you need to adjust your settings, go to options, audio status, and you'll sh it'll show you like your, your system is on. It'll tell you how what percentage of the CPU is being used, what drivers. And then here you've got input and output device where you can select which uh, mic and which speakers you want Max to use for this audio device. So I've got my MacBook Pro mic and speakers selected for each, but you can see I, I've got an external display. I could use those or a headset, a Bluetooth headset. I could use those as well. So you want to make sure that you've got the right one selected for what you're trying to do. So meter and flow num is one way to detect this. Um, I can also, if I don't like the, the visual display of this for some reason, I can use an object called peak amp, which is gonna give me the peak amplitude of an audio signal with the tilde there. Um, and I need to give this a sample size. So as an attribute or an argument, it's gonna ask for the sample size in milliseconds. So if I say 100, then every 100 milliseconds or every tenth of a second, it's going to analyze the audio signal, give me an average for the peak volume of that, and then give the, and then spit that out. Uh, this is important because audio rate, like the, the mic is hearing audio at mm, 44.1. If we go back to audio status, it will tell us 44.1 kilohertz, right? That's really, really fast. Um, audio data transfers really fast, which is why Max deals with it with these different chords. Um, so to measure something like volume, like we, we don't actually want to measure it that fast. We want to divide our audio signal into chunks and get the volume of a chunk of sound over time. So for instance, here, every tenth of a second, we're going to measure the volume. Similarly, we can use a flow num 
and we'll see that these should be pretty similar um, values. The meter, its default sampling rate is 50 milliseconds. So it's, it's sampling faster even than I have the peak amp to set. Um, and if I want to check that, if I go into the inspector and down at the bottom here, there's our, our refresh interval in milliseconds for the meter. So both of these uh, work for getting us a numeric representation of the volume of an input audio channel. And I should mention too that these techniques will work with the, the mic just as well as they'll work with um, an audio track. So if I have a, an audio track in here that I want to evaluate for volume, I can pull that in and play this and we'll see the volume of that audio track. Now you can't hear it because I haven't connected anything to the EasyDAC, but uh, we can see its volume.